Jake, hey, congratulations for your series ride. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate it. I know Hallmark sent me like uh, all, all these episodes and I binged through it and the they only left out the last episode for me. And I was like, <laughs> no. We'll count one more, we'll count one more live viewer then on Sunday. How's that? <laughs> No, they finally sent me the last, the very last episode, and it was okay. so satisfying. But you know, obviously, we can't talk about that because the viewers no. <laughs> will will have a chance to uh, watch <laughs> that. So, so it's 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 a terrific series. But I want to hear it from you. What initially drew you to be a part of this ensemble cast of Bride? Well, I think the answer is in the question. In a way, I had dreamt my whole life of being in a family on family drama ensemble in the way that I get to on this show. And um, I, I do say as well that the projects that were crossing my desk, particularly those that were seeking representation from the community, felt like they were being voiced from a, a place of victimhood and trauma that, that didn't speak to me in the way that Ride did. Ride came to the table with looking for lived experience to come into the cast in the role of tough, but also to celebrate a young man who's taking his place in the world, regardless of the things that might be viewed as setbacks. And um, when that happened, and then also to have music interwoven in the plot, as well as riding itself, like whether it's horseback or bull riding, it all just felt like the epic television that I'm most interested in watching. And I think if if you're saying yes to anything as an actor, you want it to be something that you would tune in to yourself. And so it's uh, it's been the opportunity of a lifetime. And I, I honestly pin still pinch myself every day that I get to do it at all. I I, I love the story arcs for your characters for a tough, tough here. Um, I mean, especially the the romance part, because it wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't basically like pushed upon us. It was one of those things where it occurred naturally and we wanted to cheer for you or cheer yeah. both, both of you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what that speaks to the creators and obviously the creative team at the network and beyond. There is a really nuanced, fully dimensional journey for Tuff and, and in his love life throughout season one and, and hopefully beyond. And I think that is a credit to the bravery of everyone who's worked on the show. You know, there's a lot of pressure to neatly sum a queer relationship now or really, really explore the negative and challenging aspects of what queer relationships can be. But my experience in the world has been one that is not, is not that distant from Tufts, that, of course, there are challenges that are with you know coming out and coming to terms with a, a version of yourself that might not have been the expectation but but not more than those of having to actually really find love in the world that's the real challenge for young people now so it's been great to bring that to life and to add the texture of my lived experience to the story but there will be lots more for tough love life and love triangles and all of that as uh, as time progresses in future seasons. Now let's talk about tough because the the best part about tough is that he he seems like I want to say he he's like the glue of the family. He's just trying to keep everyone together. Yeah. And and I do have to adore the name. Who no one should ever mess with the name tough. No, it's a, it's a it's a very very cool name. That I mean that comes in on the casting breakdown too and you go I I need to know more. Uh no flattering words um that I I credit the writers with entirely. I just I just get to say them, but um he is he's holding a lot together at all times and I think what's really cool about that and we'll explore more of it in the future if we're lucky enough to tell more of the McMurray story, but Tuff would be the only of the brothers that never knew Dusty. Um, the other two have spent a little time on this planet with their father and Tuff's not been so lucky. So I think him coming into the world with a bit of pressure to 
take up the space before he's ever really known how to walk or speak that Dusty would have taken up in the family is something he's long felt. And then the way that he might feel shortcomings about who he is attracted to and, and might love and how that might work in the world is uh, is part of what I think is so cool about his rising to any occasion that presents itself. So hopefully the, the next occasion he'll step into for for the glue of the family is uh, taking up some space for love in his own life as well. Ah, such a tease. <laughs> now, the singing part in this film, is that is that all you or you had to work on that? Yes, no, I actually uh, come from a music theater training and background where, uh, where singing is, I don't want to say second nature, but it's definitely been part of my training. And and I'm really, really lucky to revisit it because it's been a few years you make the transition from music theater into the film and television space. And it's not so often that you get to sing and um, having the musical component of the show be part of the way that we tell the story. We don't just break away for a sort of stardom plot, but we interweave Tuff's band into the, the way that Canyon relates to the McMurray. So um, it's great to have all those layers to uh, to Tufts music and the Dirt Road Relics. Well, you have a great voice, so that's that's terrific too. Fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, Jake, let, let me wrap it up with one more thing. And I'm, I'm really curious about this. As an actor, what do you really know about bullfighting? More now is the, is the short <laughs> answer. Um, but what I would say first and foremost is the risk that is involved in that sport, much less for the animal than for the athlete, is really, really high. The stakes of in, in bullfighting families are ever present. Um, not even being a particularly faithful person, but being a spiritual person, I'm always the one on set that when we have bull riding days, I'm the guy who goes, can we get together and maybe say a bit of a prayer for all the incredibly brave stunt teams that step in and really risk it all for us to be able to tell this story the way that we do. So um, we've learned a lot academically about, about bull riding. Um, and I could walk you through all those tactical steps, but to step in to that ring as our stunt team does is a whole other level of love for the sport. Um, so that that's that's what I know about bull riding. That it's it's not uh, it's not going to be my next career move for a lot of other reasons. But I admire it incredibly and and love that I get to shine a light on it in the way that I do through this story for audiences around America to ha have that reverence for the sport as well. Most excellent. Well, my admi admiration for you is that you do look good in a cowboy hat. So, Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll take that to the bank. There you go. Jake, hey, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about the uh, Hallmark Series ride. It's uh, And it's going to be very exciting because the conclusion is this weekend. So, Yes, tune in Sunday at 9 for that finale. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it.